Hey YouTube, it's Justin the Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? Running wide open on a full moon night. Chasing this paper, trying to get my life right. Get a big party waiting for the man of the hour. Midnight shift for the money and the power. So today, uh, this tool haul is uh, stuff for uh, my milling machine. So this is all the stuff that I've kind of bought so far. I need to buy a lot more stuff. Um, I don't really have that much. Like I need to get some better end mills and all that stuff. It's just super fucking expensive. So, uh, you know, this is going to be a lot of red Tiffany boxes for men. Um, and just a lot of nicer stuff that I bought. I figured I might as well buy the nice stuff right from the beginning and be done with it. <clears throat> So we'll run through this real quick. Don't want to waste any more of your time. And uh, maybe you guys aren't into this shit, but I definitely am. So the first thing I got is a set of uh, Sterrett V-blocks here. Uh, you know, this is for uh, putting round material on it and clamping it in your vise. Uh, you never know when you might need uh, uh, just a good set of V-blocks. So that's uh, the first thing that I got here. Alrighty, uh, the next thing is, is I got an oil proof can from uh, McMaster Car. Uh, that just rides right in there. <clears throat> uh, the next thing I got is just some one, two, three blocks with no holes in them, uh, just for setup stuff and things like that. You know, these are precision machine blocks. Uh, they were no name, they were cheap on Amazon. I will link them. Uh, all this stuff will be on online toolvendors.com at the junkie store uh, you know and all that stuff so the next thing I got is yeah you can see made in China I uh, really couldn't find a good set of these <clears throat> uh, what these are is just uh, 90 degree uh, things and I think that this is at uh, a 45 here I do believe this is a 30 degree uh, parallel to put uh, in the you know if you're trying to mill something on a 45 or something like that that's what that is uh, all right uh, the next thing I got down here is another stare it box it's one of these uh, protractor things with a uh, rule and all that stuff you know you can you put this shit in there and then you got that you can protractor whatever uh, if you will there you know 45 90 it's got a <clears throat> centerings thing with it so i got that from amazon all this shit that if you thought fucking automotive tools were expensive you guys have no clue about fucking machinist tools it fucking outrageous uh the next two thing i got here is more stare at stuff these are parallels so uh you'll see these coming up in a in another video uh kind of what these are used for you can you know, you can also, uh, if you had a piece of work that you wanted to set up in the vise, you could put these parallels on there and step it up, and uh, you can mill on top of your vise or whatever. So I got a thick set and a thinner set of Sterrett parallels. Now, I probably could have got a cheap set, but why in the fuck would you do that? You know what I'm saying? Why? So the next thing I got uh, here is some browning sharp uh, machina squares uh, you know they could be like tool maker squares or whatever you want to call them um, I got all that shit you know uh, again just trying to have that stuff um, this thing another sterret item uh, this is the thing the tram the mill in so you can check it from time to time. It just makes it easier <clears throat> than trying to set up uh, with some indicators. Uh, that's what I got to buy too with some indicators. But I also got this indicator. Uh, this is a Sterrett last word indicator. Um, this is just a, you know, for how you uh, help tram your vice in on the mill. There's a bunch of other different stuff uh, you can do with this thing. You know, I'm not the greatest, but whatever. But I got it. Um, let's see, another Sterrett box. Oh, this is my uh, edge finder. So what this is, is it has this little bearing on it. And you chuck this up in the mill, and then you come over, and, you know, it'll be running out of true. 
And then once you find your true center or your, you know, where you're truly at centered, this thing will, you know, it helps you find edges. So if your mill piece is over here, you come over, you touch off that, okay, we went too far. And then, you know, when it's spinning, it'll come back. So that's what that is. <clears throat> A lot of shit here, fellas. All righty. This is a Sterrett machinist level, 12 inch machinist level, all precision ground. This is how I leveled the Bridgeport milling machine uh, right here with this thing. You know, you could put it on there and get it completely level. And each one of these marks is uh, five thousandths or whatever. So, you know, if you're off one mark, you're, you're going to be out of level five thousandths. So uh, that's that thing, or at least that's what I think I was, that's what my buddy told me. But anyway, alrighty. Uh, here is a set of brown and sharp one, two, three blocks again. Uh, these are the ones with the holes, so you could stack them up and all that stuff. Um, you know, I'm going to be slowly adding to this. And then I bought uh, some of these Kodiak cutters in mills right here. Um, I kind of like this Kodiak stuff. Uh, so, you know, it's just end mills uh, to do some end milling. So I got regular end mills, and then these are bowl end mills, uh, you know, I guess for making, you know, bowl something. I don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, we'll figure it out. And uh, I bought a Sterrett USA made uh, set of dial calipers. Uh, black faced, you know. I love these. I love this Starrett stuff. There is nothing just like a Starrett thing. So I got to get uh, some different, you know, just different machinist tools and all that stuff. I think that's all I bought. Oh, I bought uh, some chip brushes here, and that's uh, that's about it. That's all the stuff I got for the mills so far. If uh, you guys are out there and uh, you have a milling machine or you're a machinist or anything and I forget anything that you think would be important to have with a Bridgeport milling machine, uh, leave it in the comments section. Let me know. Uh, I'm open for suggestions. I like the Starrett stuff. I like Browning and Sharp. I'm not really much into the Chinese made stuff. I'm the kind of guy, I want to buy it once, have it forever, just like I plan on having this milling machine forever. But anyway, uh, that's recent stuff. Uh, check the I'll put a card up here right now for online tool vendors. If you guys would like to get any of this stuff or use my Amazon affiliate link, just go right there. Uh, you can check all that out. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to purchase any of this stuff from online tool vendors, uh, that's where it'll be. Uh, like always, check out my Patreon account. Check out uh, the snapondjunkie.com uh, if you want to purchase any of your uh, t-shirts, hoodies, all that jazz, all that bullshit, you know, and... Uh, Check out my Facebook, Instagram, all that jazz. Like always, thanks for watching. I gotta fucking go.